What's up, fuckers, and welcome back to another rebuild here on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Today, we're going to be doing another one of the trading every player rebuilds today with the Golden State Warriors. Now, it does suck because I did want to use Steph Curry. It's not every day. I do get to use one of the best point guards in NBA history. He's number two on my list right now, but could very well easily end up in his career at number one. But that's not the point of today's video. If you guys do not know what these are, basically, I have to trade every single player on this team and at no point in time can they ever come back on this roster for any single reason. After I do trade the entire roster before we do start simming year number one, I cannot make any other trades. A little bit of a challenge aspect to it. So, as always, if you guys are new around here, could subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Leave a like on this video. And if you guys have any other video series ideas, feel free to leave them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video with the worst to first rebuild challenge. It was fun, you know, do a little bit of something else. But if you guys do want to see anything else like that, any other sort of challenges, make sure to let me know down below and I'll bear the ones you guys do want to see. So we're going to hop right into this right now, right off the rip. These intros or whatever you want to call them, you know, pre-simming year number one tend to take a little bit longer because I do, do have to make so many trades. So I guess just let's get right into it, Steph Curry. It sucks, man. We have no trade offers for him. So the way I do this, the way I've always done this in the past, is if I don't get any trade offers for anybody, what I do I typically go to Siri, honestly. I go to Trade Finder, uh, as you can see right here, or Player Finder, excuse me. So, like, I'll ask Siri, pick a number one through whatever. How many are there? One, two, actually, any count. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, there's ten. All right. Siri, pick a number one through ten. Oh, I guess it doesn't speak, but why is it saying calculator? It's nine, uh, in case you can't see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to be trading Steph Curry for a center. Uh, and now I have to get, you know, kind of realistically, I, I like guess who I can trade for. Like he's an untouchable. He's probably not for Steph Curry. So I'll start at Embiid, one, two, three, uh, and I'll probably go all the way down to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Higher, the better here. The higher, the better here. Siri, pick a number one through 10. And it's 10. I don't know why Siri's not talking to me right now, but she's not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know how this is going to work. I really don't. I somehow have to make this trade work. Um, That's for Clay. Can I do it for Steph? No. How much am I off by? 5 million bucks. I'm going to try to make this work. Uh, it's like, give me Avery Bradley. Son of a bitch. Um, oh, brother. Can you give me Dante Exum and I can give you... Uh, I'll give you this guy. Like, I'm, I'm assuming this is probably going to go through. No, I don't want to do this. And I hate, like, doing the trades manually. But if Steph has no trade offers, I got to find a way to get him off the team. And honestly, this trade fucking sucks. I really don't imagine anybody's going to be, you know, too upset about that. And screw you. I'm saving my second round picks. All right, Steph Curry is officially a member of the Houston Rockets. That took way too long. I'm happy we got it out of the way, though. We're now going to do Clay Thompson next. Uh, we'll do Clay, and maybe I'll include somebody you know a little bit younger. I'll include Eric Pascal as well in that deal. So now we have no say in what we end up with. We're going to stop this one here in three, two, and one, and we get Chris Middleton, Dante DiVincenzo from the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster right here, uh, again, just because it does end up taking typically quite a bit of time. Oh uh, shit, I don't want to do two guys that are making a lot of money together. Uh, Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins can be my next offer here. And we will stop this one in three, two, and one. And we get Terry Rozier and Cody Zeller from the Charlotte Hornets. So honestly, not a bad uh, trade right there whatsoever. We'll do Draymond Green, Kelly Oubre next. Maybe we can get something decent, you know, some sort of max contract for these guys. Hopefully it has a good player behind it. Three, two, and a one. We're going to end up with this one. We're actually going to go one to the left. My eyes are still closed. Oh, my God. Oh, we could have had Malik Beasley and Ricky Rubio, but nope. You guys ever think I'd cheat in these? Trust me, I definitely do not. Um, Wiseman is going to be next. I'll throw in Kent Bazemore. I love Kent Bazemore and Avery, and Avery Bradley. Bradley Beal's beef lately. Bench players talking like starters, man. You hate to see it. 3-2-1. and one. Brandon Clark and Kyle Anderson from the Memphis Grizzlies. Honestly, could have been worse, so I can live with that. We do have a very deep team right now. Um, that is one thing I definitely will say. Not even change, though. J.J. Barea, I actually didn't even know was on the Golden State Warriors right now. Funny enough. Uh, three, two, and a one. Is, is he on a 10-day contract or something? Can somebody let me know down below in the comment section, please. I mean, I can look it up myself after, but I really don't care that much. Um, and we will do Allen. I'm pretty sure that's everybody here. I'm pretty sure it is. So that's the final trade I'm making. Three, two, and a one. 
And yeah, pretty useless right there. So I'm going to go ahead and set this rotation. I will be back. All right, so I went ahead and changed Terry Rozier's position to the point guard spot. He went down to overalls. It's really not that big of a deal. It doesn't actually affect any of his tendencies, anything like that. So um, he's going to be my starting point guard. It was either him or Dante Exum. I went with the latter and obviously went ahead and took the better player. So year number one, it's a very, you know, different looking rotation than what I would have imagined this was looking like. But I'm actually pretty comfortable with it, surprisingly enough. Terry Rozier, Eric Gordon, Chris Middleton, Brandon Clark, and Christian Woods going to be the starting five for us here. Year number one, bench is actually pretty solid. Kyle Anderson, Cody Zeller, Dante DiVincenzo, and then, you know, Dante Exum kind of ruins it. It sucks that Moses Brown's really not going to be getting any minutes because I think he would probably develop pretty nicely for me, and he is under contract this entire video, so I'd eventually like him to be my backup center. Uh, I just think having Cody Zeller right now, he's probably a little bit of a better player. Uh, it sucks Belmont's not getting any minutes either, so... That is it for now. I cannot pronounce this dude's name for the life of me, but he actually develops pretty nicely. And I actually think he's been playing pretty well for Oklahoma City in real life this year. That's who he's on, right? I remember my getting him confused with somebody else. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's on OKC, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a playoff team. Uh, obviously, the Western Conference is very, very competitive, very, very good. But we will cross that road when we get there. I'd actually prefer probably not to make the playoffs, get a lottery pick. We will see. But I'll see you guys in the end of year number one. So we wrap up year number one here. We actually ended up in the playoffs as a five seed here in the West. It's not very often I end up as a five seed. I feel like it's either one, two, or three, or like maybe six to eight. Never really five, though. Weird enough. LeBron James MVP for the LA Lakers. 27.5 points, 7.5 boards, 11 assists. LaMelo Ball, rookie of the year. These are, oh, John Wall, six. Who the hell is starting over him? Oh, I have an idea. Steph Curry, because I fucking traded him there. Giannis Antetokounmpo, even the player of the year. Christian Wood does win most improved for us. Very good to see. Stan Van Gundy and his fat ass does win coach of the year for the New Orleans Pelicans, who are a one seed. You're fucking high if you think the Pelicans are going to be a one seed. And it's even the same year. Like, it's just how 2K works. But 46 and 36 for us. We do have a first-round matchup with the Phoenix Suns. We take a look at some player stats on the year. Chris Middleton led us in scoring. Uh, that was a pretty underrated pickup. He actually is pretty solid, uh, especially in my NBA. Terry Rozier, pretty great year as well. Uh, Christian Wood, obviously, one most improved. Eric Bledsoe, Eric Bledsoe, oh my god. Eric Gordon actually wasn't even that bad as well. Unfortunately, I probably am going to be looking to trade him this offseason. He does regress a little bit. Clark, not bad. I don't know if he's a long-term answer at that starting power forward spot, but we will work with what we've got. So, playoffs right now, we got the Phoenix Suns, CP3, Devin Booker, Mikel Bridges, Frank the Tank, and DeAndre eight in the starting five there. They're probably going to beat us. It's a pretty good team right there in Phoenix. We lose, okay, but we take him to seven. I can live with that. You know, wow, Denver beat New Orleans in the first round. <laughs> Couldn't have seen that one coming. James Harden and the Brooklyn Nets do go on to win the finals. Dude, I'm so excited for the playoffs in real life. Like, I'm so excited. Like, it's going to be great. Like, I feel like nobody actually knows, especially from the Western Conference, for like the feel, what feels like the first time in a long time who's going to be in the finals. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody probably thought the Miami Heat in the East were going to be in it last year. I feel like most people probably think it's going to be the Brooklyn Nets in the East this year. That's my pick anyways. I don't know who it's going to be in the West. I, like, want to say the Clippers, but, like, they're the king of round two. Like, you know? So, I don't know. I'm excited for the playoffs. I really hope, like, the Suns of the Jazz make it. That would be cool, but sorry for that little rant. It's especially cool because I don't really have to worry about my own team because, if you didn't know, Celtics fan here, Jalen Brown out for the rest of the season. That fucking sucks. Not that they were going to do much anyways, but they're obviously probably either going to lose the play-in tournament uh, or get bounced in the first round if, by some miracle, they do end up making it. So... We're going to head into league meetings right now. No thank you. Uh, no thank you. And reject all those. We'll head up to the draft lottery. Do not believe we have any. Oh, I saw Golden State via Minnesota. I don't know what that pick is, but we actually have the eighth overall pick via Minnesota. That's actually huge for us. Steve Kerr, Ron Adams. Uh, I can live with Mike Brown as well. Ryan Tucker, you're fine. Uh, we have a C trainer. Going to go ahead and get my boy Ryan, or excuse me, Randy Martin. Get those uh, three untapped potentials. We'll get a good assistant GM as well because that is pretty important when you're trying to make trades. So, a couple new guys in the staff department right there. Pretty big pickups. We now do have the eighth overall pick. I wouldn't mind maybe moving up a little bit. We have 23 from our own as well. Chris Middleton making a lot of money, man. He's making a lot of money. We look at the prospects on the big board right now. Uh, Position-wise, this is not a very good and not a very deep power forward class. Uh, I could move Christian Wood to power forward and maybe try to sneak up and get Evan Mobley. I don't know how ideal, like, you know, realistic that is, especially I've seen him, you know, as low as five or six on, you know, when I've done this before, he's at two right now, which typically means he'll probably go top three. So that could be a little bit tough, but I kind of do want Evan Mobley. Like who's the second best center here? Uh, I don't know. Like, who are you? I don't know this draft class very well. I have no idea who the hell that is. It's, do I want Mobley? Do I do I want Evan Mobley is kind of my decision. I also could maybe move up and look for a Jalen Green. I did get him in a re recent video. Keon Johnson from Tennessee. 
Um, we definitely have needs on this team. I'm definitely not just going to trade the eighth overall pick for a future pick. So I will see you guys with whatever move I do make. So I was going to try to do this trade with Washington, move up to the second overall pick. Unfortunately, I literally can't even take on any money. Kyle Anderson's obviously the guy out. I'd rather keep Brandon Clark, hopefully develop him a little bit. So uh, we're going to try to move to three with Cleveland. Again, uh, they do agree to that straight up, but I don't know if Evan Mobley is going to be sitting there at three. So big moment of truth is Evan Mobley. Did he go number one or number two? Let's check that out. Looks like he did, which sucks. Draft summary. He literally went right before us, the Wizards. Uh, it does kind of make sense, but I can't really complain. So do they maybe want to trade him to me? I know I do this quite a bit. Um, let's just say they do have Thomas Bryant. I'll, I'll give you a handshake and call it a day. I don't really know how the hell that works, but cool. Thank you very much. I got the guy I wanted, and you gave me a second-round pick. God, this game is so broken. Evan Mobley, welcome to Golden State. You're going to be our new center. Um, you know, kind of hoping to be what James Wiseman could have been for us. Dwayne Bacon, I'll bring back. Hopefully get a first-round pick for him. Qualifying Nico Melli, no. I don't really care about you. So, yeah, uh, we're going to slide Christian Wood down to power forward. I'm pretty sure that was a kind of an obvious move we were going to make. You know, now picking up a new franchise center, hopefully, and Evan Mobley. Moses Brown will be his backup. Uh, Clark and Wood are going to be my power forwards. Middleton will probably remain at small forward. I do need to figure out a new shooting guard and maybe point guard. So, I'm fine with it for now. I do want to go ahead and make a couple trades, maybe get a couple first-round picks. Eric Gordon's definitely on his way out as well. Um, this dude's progressing pretty well. I just don't know. Isn't he seven feet? He's seven feet tall and he's a small forward. Uh, yeah, I don't really need you. I'll probably try to click, you know, include him in some sort of bigger trade. So Dwayne Bacon, can I get a first round pick for you? Chicago wants to be nice to me. I need to figure out definitely a new starting shooting guard or point guard. I can play Rosier at either. So I will see you guys with that trade. So the money actually kind of works out quite nicely with Zach Levine's contract. I got him like maybe two or three videos ago. So I'll definitely take a break if I do get him here, but, uh, he's really the best player where the money works out below him. It was like Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, I'm going to try to get Zach Levine pretty much every time, every day of the week. So I'd give up quite a bit for him. Uh, I think he's very underrated in this league still, even with, you know, he's been getting a decent amount of recognition, but I just don't know if this is going to happen. And it, wow, I really didn't think that was going to. We just, you know, kind of milked ourselves for the future. That's a very suspect term. Um, but yeah, in the pick department anyway. So we definitely need to work on that. Um, I, like, I don't really... Ooh. Because Zach Levine's our highest overall, which typically means for me that you don't have a backup. But I could just keep, you know, Middleton not having one and keep DiVincenzo. He is in a contract year, though. If I can either get a decent point guard or small forward for DiVincenzo, I probably will do it. If not, I can keep him uh, and just let Chris Middleton not have a backup. So let's see what sort of offers we do get for Dante DiVincenzo. Matisse Thibault, uh, Grayson Allen might be my most hated player of all time. Um, I'm not seeing anything I love here. Uh, Theo Molden's interesting, especially just because he's under team control as well. He actually had a really solid rookie year. All right, let's pick up Theo Molden. He's going to be my new backup point guard behind Terry Rozier. Uh, and now I need to now I do need to figure out my starting small forward. Wow, I can get Duncan Robinson. We actually have some pretty good options here. Um, I think Duncan Robinson just for his pure shooting ability. Either I actually think he's one of few players in the NBA in real life this year to start every single game. Uh, it's just pretty crazy actually. But I'm going to move him up to small forward. I'm pretty sure his overall goes up. Yeah, he goes up to 80 overall. So he's going to hopefully just be an absolutely lights out shooter for us off the bench. And this rotation is all set. I'm very happy about it. I will see you guys at the rotation at the start of year number two. So we're all set here with the rotation at the start of year number two. I actually am very excited to see what this team can do for us. I think we're actually a pretty dynamic team. And I'm very, actually very happy, uh, you know, with the makeup of it right now. Is Chris Middleton a free agent after this year? I should have checked that before. He's not. Okay, he's locked up. Terry Rozier is a free agent after this year. Levine is as well. I know that. But... It's going to be a big offseason for us. I actually think, you know, Levine being in a contract year was, you know, a big contributing factor to the fact that we actually were able to trade for him uh, and not actually even have to give up four first round picks. So here's how it's going to look. Year number two, Terry Rozier, Zach Levine, Chris Middleton, Christian Wood slides down to that, or excuse me, that power forward spot, and then Evan Mobley as well. Did, wasn't he like an 88? Did he regress at the age of 26? I, I don't know. Um, whoops, excuse me. I, yeah, I decided to go with Evan Mobley over Moses Brown, you know, second overall pick. I, I do have high hopes for him versus somebody who I believe is undrafted. Yes, he is. Uh, but the bench is actually looking pretty good as well. Duncan Robinson, hopefully just going to light it up from behind the arc, hopefully for us. Brandon Clark as well, Moses Brown. And then Theo Malden, who had a great rookie campaign. I showed you his numbers when we did go ahead and make that trade for him. So I'm very excited to see what he can do off the bench, especially as a backup point guard. He got great per 36 minutes, not that per 36 minutes, or, you know, exactly perfect but that is the team for now i will catch you guys at the end of year number two so i'm extremely happy with this team we always made some pretty big upgrades and we ended up being a one seed here in year number two number one in the power rankings as well nicole Jokic is your mvp probably with what's going to happen in real life this year as well i think it should be unanimous but that is just my opinion 24 points 12 boards eight and a half assists very solid kate cunningham rookie of the year ends up in washington probably not going to happen in real life as you know they're a borderline playoff team right now i believe they're a 10 seed 
Cade Cunningham also won six man of the year. Um, is he, I'm assuming he's backing up Russ, but interesting. Jonathan Isaac, even player of the year. Dante DiVincenzo most improved right after we trade him. I say this all the time when I see it, but yeah, it typically seems when you trade a bench piece, they always end up winning most improved wherever you trade them. Just is what it is. 16-22 for us. Steve Kerr still hitting the dab in the same picture since like 2K17, coach of the year. So we do Minnesota in the first round. Check out some player stats real quick before that. Levine was well worth the trade. Almost 30 points a game, four and a half boards, five assists, one steal. I'm very happy I made the move. Chris Middleton, Terry Rozier, Evan Mobley, great rookie season. Surprised he didn't even win rookie of the year. Uh, 15 points, almost nine boards, four assists for a, you know a center. But Wood was solid, double double. I'm again, I'm I'm happy with this team right now. I'm very happy with the starting lineup. So Minnesota here in the first round. D'Lo Edwards. Wow, I just burped. Jared Culver, Jaden McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns. Pretty nice young core right there. I think we are just a little bit better though. I'll see you guys in the offseason. If you're wondering, Brooklyn won the finals. Um, I'm, I'm mad right now. I'm not going to lie. Nope. And that's the only one that was accepted. Draft lottery. Uh, I highly doubt we have any sort of pick here. And we do not. So, we're going to go ahead and skip that. Cleveland ends up with the number one overall pick. Staff signing right now. I don't, I'm don't. i not firing Steve Kerr. He just has too good of ratings. So, I don't really know what the problem was. But, obviously, we have a very, very big free agency coming up. I'm not drafting anybody. We don't even have any picks anyway. So, team player options right now. Clark Brown, Theo Malden, all coming back for us. Qualifying, we have none right there. I don't really know what the problem was with this team, if I'm being honest. Looks like Steph is going to go to the Bulls, maybe? Wow. The fact that nobody's even giving him a max contract on day one is just wild to me. Like, what does it look like with Luka? He's getting a max from the Thunder. It's obviously getting matched. KD, do you have any 100%? Yeah, it looks like he's going to resign with the Nets. Harden has a max from the Wizards, interesting enough. Okay, that's fun. Uh, but I definitely need Zach Levine back. That is my main point right now. We're going to give him player option. He's definitely not going anywhere. Uh, I'd like to bring back Terry. Uh, I think I might look to trade Terry Rozier, unfortunately, for him. But uh, I definitely want this team winning a championship. So Zach Levine, Terry Rozier, uh, both back on this team for now. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out a trade for Scary Terry. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. So I'm going to take a risk here. Uh, I don't have any really solid trade offers. And this is my last first round pick that I have. But I know 2K a little bit. Or I think I know 2K pretty well. Uh, and I think if I make this move right here, yes, this is the trade I'm making. I wasn't just saying something. Um, what's going to happen? Jared Allen goes down to power forward. goes up to an 89 overall. And I'm hoping what that deal does is now let me get hopefully some better offers in the point guard spot. Oh, God, I fucked myself. I really did, didn't I? Oh, God. just I was really hoping like Jamal Murray would get offered to me, maybe. That, that didn't happen. Oh, fuck me. That sucks. He's an 89 overall. You can give me something better than this. Like, I think what I'm going to probably have to do is include somebody off the bench, which I really didn't want to do, but I need a better point guard. Honestly, Theo Maldon was solid for us. I just think I'd rather keep Duncan Robinson, probably, uh, if I'm being honest, especially because Theo Maldon's not even playing that much. So, do I get any sort of, like, who, Frank, like, what? Vucevic is definitely, you know, we're getting higher overalls offered to us. They're just not necessarily better. Okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you very much, Darren Fox. Welcome to the team. I don't really need to look at anything else. So, uh, it ended up working out in the long run. Unfortunately, I did have to give up one of my bench pieces. Uh, I do need to sign a bench piece of some sort. I'm probably just going to go ahead and sign, you know, DeLon Wright. I can live with it. So, welcome to the team, DeLon Wright. We do have a trade exception from Scary Terry, but that is all set. That is how the squad is looking. I will see you guys the final rotation at the start of the third and final season. So, we're here at the start of the third and final season. De'Aaron Fox is obviously a huge addition to this starting lineup. I'm very happy I was getting the trade offered from, for him. Um, yeah, I definitely could have screwed myself with the Jared Allen move, but I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I was all over the place, but I'm very happy with the move. I think he's ultimately going to hopefully lead us to a championship as our starting point guard. Uh, you know, it's tough when you trade, you know, the second best point guard in NBA history, uh, in my opinion, anyways, at the start of the video. And who did I get for him? Who did I? I forget. Who did I get? I honest, I, I'm all over the place right now. I No, I know who I got. It was from, it was a deal with Houston. Oh, I got Christian Wood. That's who it was. It's hard when that happens. He's literally right in front of me, and I don't even remember it. I'm sorry. All over the place right now. But year number three, Darren Fox, Zach Levine, Chris Middleton, Christian Wood, and Evan Mobley is going to be our starting five bench unit. Duncan Robinson, Brandon Clark, Moses Brown, uh, and DeLon Wright. So I'm comfortable with the moves we made. I'm putting all our eggs in the basket. Let's go win a championship. So for the second straight season, we're a one seed. Hopefully it does not end in the playoffs like it did last year. Luka Doncic, MVP. 36 points on the dot, eight boards, 11 and a half, almost 12 assists. God, I want to get him really badly. But the thing is, if I do a Dallas Mavericks rebuild, it's probably going to be a trading every player Mavericks rebuild, which means Luka Doncic would not be in that one, uh, unfortunately for us. But MVP, Sharif Cooper, Rookie of the Year, Jalen Durant, Sixth Man of the Year in Portland, Giannis Antetokounmpo, even the Player of the Year, Theo Maldon, Most Improved. I'm telling you, man, it, it happens every time. Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year. We go 65 and 17. So 
Memphis in round number one. Let's check out some player stats real quick. Levine and Fox were a lethal backcourt. Chris Middleton doing exactly what I needed him to. Evan Mobley getting, getting those numbers up in his sophomore season. 16 points, 10 boards, 4 assists. You'll love to see it. Christian Wood still a double-double. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Rebounds went to Wood and assists was De'Aaron Fox. We got Memphis here. Morant, Sexton they picked up. Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson Jr. And James Wiseman, who we traded them. Like, how is that an 8 seed, dude? And we sweep them. Okay. Who we lost to Minnesota here in round number two. D'Lo, Edwards, Culver, Kyle Anderson, and Carl Anthony Towns. We had Kyle Anderson here in Golden State for a minute. Uh, we went in five. We got us at the Lakers. Russell Westbrook made his way over to L.A. How on God's green fucking earth? <laughs> I'm going to take a minute right now. I know damn motherfucking well that Russell Westbrook didn't sign a $5.7 million contract to go ring chase with 36-year-old LeBron and Anthony Davis. Like, there's no fucking way, right? What the hell is going on right now? Is he even a free agent in year number three? Did he get, like, released and then sign? What, on, what the fuck is going on today, man? This is like what you used to be able to do. Like, remember in like 2K17 when your team was so fucking good, the like superstars that were of a certain age would sign like a mid-level exception. You like, I remember specifically, I did an Atlanta Hawks rebuild. I paid LeBron six million fucking dollars, and he was on my team. And I'm pretty sure we won 75 fucking games. Is this coming back? Is this a thing? Or like, how is Russ on this team right now? Who's your center? And they still have Drummond. What? How is that a six seed too? Like. And, I mean, we won. I, I made it way too big of a deal about it. But, like, what the hell is going on? I guess I got to try to start trying doing that. Unless he got released. Like, is there a way to see, like, his history? Like, is there a way for me to see that? Um, like, did he get released or something? I don't even know where the hell I'd see that. Um, like, is there... No, it's probably just all his old numbers or anything. I, I really don't know where he could have came from. Or like how he got here. I, I actually genuinely have no idea. But nonetheless, we have Atlanta here in the NBA Finals. Trey Young, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Cam Reddish, Danilo Gallinari, Clint Capella starting five there for them. We do end up winning in seven we went to. And Evan Mobley at the age of 21 winning a Finals MVP for us. I have really seen it all today. I really have. 17 and a half points, nine boards, four assists. But nonetheless, we do get a championship. So, wow, that took a little bit of a wild turn that I definitely did not see coming. But as always, if you guys are new around here, uh, could subscribe and leave a like. It helps out the video. helps out the channel quite a bit. Road to 30K. We're hoping for a very big summer coming up uh, for this entire community for me. I will have an update video in the coming weeks about what my plans are for this summer. So be on the lookout for that. Um, if you guys do have any other video ideas, any other series ideas, make sure to leave those down below in the comment section. Uh, I'm definitely looking for a couple new series, as I mentioned, you know, my previous videos for the summer. Uh, and I'm very excited about this summer. I really honestly am. And anything, anything you guys want to see, let me know down below in the comment section. Go follow me on Twitter. Shameless plug links in the description as always. That about does it for me. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys all in the next one.